Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Software Inc. with me, Lathrix, and welcome to the first episode of the Let's Play. So many of you have asked for this. I'm really glad everyone, I'm really glad lots of you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the game, because I am really thrilled to actually get back into it. I have been playing it a tiny little bit since the, uh, oh, one second, well, just my mic. Yay. Uh, I've been playing it a tiny bit since the first impressions, and I've got to be honest, this game is hard as nails. I had to actually Google a few things just to make sure I understood them, and there aren't really many guides out yet. So, we're going to be playing in easy for now, because most people, who, most things I did read did say that currently in the early access mode, it is an incredibly difficult game, with lots of mechanics being not so self-explanatory, and playing in medium or hard is really really tough. So we're going to play an easy for now. If we find it too easy in the future, we will simply go to medium, but there is a huge chance we're simply going to find it incredibly difficult. Regardless, we are Lath Corp 2, the junior of the um, groups. Oh, I'll be honest though, the original Lath Corp did go bankrupt, so that's always a good start. And we shall be Lathrid. Just Lathrid on its own, because we are the Full oh no, we'll still be laughter because I am his twin who looks exactly the same and has the same name. My mother wasn't very imaginative. So there we go. Dark black suit and we'll leave it at that. That looks fair enough. And as always, we are going to be a generous and very, very introverted human. And we'll leave everything in two D and we'll lower down the, the lead skill again. Actually, you know what? I did find that leaders are remarkably expensive. So I'm actually going to pop up my leadership quite a lot. Now that's going to suck in the early game, because that means we're not so skilled in the things we'll need. Honestly though, I, you know what, no, I don't really care about marketing so much. Marketing we don't really need until we're trying to develop our own software, and by that point, I think I would want to at least have a dedicated marketer anyway, and there's almost no chance I'm going to be using this fellow as a dedicated marketer, because of his other skills. So no, I'm going to leave everything as it is. There we go, so we're really good at leadership, but we are as we were in everything else. I think that is the way to victory. We're actually going to start off with the amount we are supposed to this time. With 5,000, like I say, we will be in easy. My apologies for that. And there's nothing else we can really change. So let's start the game. There we are. This time sound worked first time. Hallelujah. So let's build our little place. And it is going to be absolutely tiny. We're going to actually start in this corner. Because what I've decided it. No, yeah. We'll start in the corner and kind of expand this way. So if we get enough money by the time we might be able to fit a road in without actually having to um, to really struggle because roads kind of suck how big they are. So, if we, so let's see, it's there, so that one there. So to try not to go online, online, in line with this signpost and try and keep this separate. So if we can, if so, if we need a road we can do it without having to buy more areas. So for now we're going to have this tiny little place here which will eventually become a corridor. So this is it for now, for me, on my own, because I don't really care. Because my character gives no craps when it comes to space. He also really likes windows. Again, that'll look nice as the entry corridor. Let's have ourselves a merry little table. And let's have an office chair and finally a computer. There we go. I mean, what else could a budding designer possibly need in life? And all that will be removed as we get new people, but for now we don't really need that. So, fast forward until I actually get there. And let's have a look at some contract work. Uh, slow down. Months. Okay. So I don't actually know what changes when it goes to easy, hard, etc. Because that's about the same cost as usual. I'm thinking perhaps the contracts and um, things are a little bit easier to make and finish. That's what I probably take from it. I see you, car. Awesome cars. So let's go for really easy on start off with. We want artists to be at minimum. So some is better than a lot. Horrible. Ah, recommended size is two, so I don't want to do that one. So we're going to go with one of these. Let's go with the cheapest option for now, which is this one. We'll accept that work, and we'll get going. As to be expected, we'll just whiz through that because we're quite skilled. Develop into alpha straight away. I want to get someone else working with us as soon as possible this time. Let's try and rush a few people. And we're in beta already. Can we fix it on the first day? No, we can't, but regardless, I am going to release it just because that means we can straight away start on another month contract um, afterwards. A lot, a lot horrible. I do find that artists are probably like the least worth of their money, honestly, because um, 
when I was messing around, testing out different types of people, um, p putting them in different roles, etc., I find the artist actually does work the least amount of time. Now, I have been told, though, that what the artists do is increase the quality of the end product. So if you have no artists, so when it says um, the quality it expects, like um, horrible, bad, good, great, etc., that's when you really need artists. So artists don't come into play until much later than I had actually actually kind of expected, and that could be one of the many reasons why I kind of screwed up. I went artists too early, so I essentially had um, some staff members doing very little for the same price as everyone else. Now, so this is going to be a corridor. So what I think I'll do is I'll have this as my first office up here. Click. And actually what we'll do is we'll merge this into one. No, that's a terrible idea. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that for? That's silly. No, yeah, this will still be a corridor. It's just, just a way in and out, so let's put a door there. And we'll sell the computer desks, and the computer, and the other desk, and that brilliant... And then we'll once again go for large windows. I don't know why, but I just kind of like this look, even if it is costing me 40 each. <laughs> Yay. I'm fairly certain windows may cost more maintenance as well, but I might be completely incorrect about that. So... We're going to have our workforce stationed looking this way this time, which is going to be really odd, but it's just kind of how I want to do things. So, we're going to have up to three in here. We could add more, I mean, very easily we could add more, but I want to just have three. I'm not going to rush too many people this time. Like I say, I'm not going to have an artist. So, one seat, two seat, three seat. Also, when I said before about, like, training people up, that sometimes isn't actually a huge benefit, because they still end up asking for more and more money. In fact, that's what went... That's what made me go bankrupt last time. The fact is, they ask for so much when they ask for a raise, that I ended up spending so much on my staff, they were essentially bleeding me dry. Which really, really didn't help things. So, let's go with the room. So, we want a toilet, which we'll put up here, because I don't know why, but it should be here. Actually, have, let's have a toilet. Uh, I don't know, where should I put a toilet? Hmm, how am I going to do has to be two by two wide, so I can't put it over here. Ooh, why didn't I put it in the corner for? It's like a whole space here now I can't use. Oh, that's silly. Oh, that is silly. Why did I do that? Well, I guess it it, it, it does look nicer having that little bit of space, but that's, that's really non-functional. Um, okay, well, for now, we'll have the toilet and the break room here and here, respectively. That, that, and then we'll just have some small wind... Uh, this will be the break room. And this will be the toilet. So furnish with a. Oh, I've got to admit, so I just went really stupid last. Time. Last time I played this, just to check a few things, I was so silly. I made a um. I I did make a um toilet room. It was there. It was definitely a thing. And then I proceeded to forget about adding a certain thing to a toilet room. The toilet. And then people quit on me because they couldn't find a toilet. And I was very confused. And I was so certain I'd put in a toilet, I didn't even check and thought it was a some kind of AI bug, and then realised there was no toilet in the toilet room. And I was very upset by this, and I ended up losing the game because people were walking out on me. Oh. Most cramped room ever already, so that's come a hell of a lot more cramped unless I deal with that door. That door, that um, window, there we go. So let's just shove in the fridge. What can I put it there for? What's taking it? Oh, surely that lamp doesn't take up the space. Oh yeah, of course. That window shouldn't have took up the space. Although, although, although it would have been made useless by putting the fridge there, it shouldn't have took up space. That's weird. Uh, I guess I don't really need light in here anyway. We need one light in there, but... As long as the natural light can illuminate this place, then it's fine. We don't really need to be too happy for them in here. Look, you have a fridge, you have a coffee maker, you've got little desks to work in, you've got a way in, which will eventually lead to some other offices. I'm thinking perhaps like making an, an L shape, and then both groups having their own things. I want two groups early on as well. Yeah, okay, so let's hire a member of staff before the next day comes. So, manage employees. Nope, that's not what I wanted to see. Let's go with hire employees. I don't really want something too expensive right now. So I'm going to go with system. I find that system's really good as well because almost all of the software you develop later needs system. 
2D and audio, however, can be completely not there, so at least to start off with. Now, I think I want a designer, as I do find designing to be the slowest section. That's the section before it goes into alpha. So, oh well, yeah, I, I figured out some of these things a bit better than last time. So designers work on the first section, the, you know, the design. They speed up that first, in my opinion, the slowest section. Programmers then go through alpha and beta. Artists kind of chip in occasionally at almost random intervals and I can't figure out where. They definitely do stuff in beta. And I've seen them do stuff in alpha and I think I've seen them do it in developing, but they do spend a lot of time sitting around doing nothing. So I think the artists are there just to add quality whenever quality is needed, so they do a little bit here and there. But the problem is with that is they do spend a hell of a lot of time doing nothing. So that is a concern. Also, I have also figured out that, well, at least I've been told by a few people, because, again, not many, not many people really know much about the game yet. It's still very new. Um, guides don't really exist right now. And they have told me that um, artists who stay as artists actually do the artwork. But if you put an artist in, in the any role position, they won't actually act as an artist, as they'll end up doing another job, like designing or programming. And that's really, really hindering. So for now, we're going to look for... Regardless, we're going to look for, look for a designer in the um, system, and we're going to begin looking just 500, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to look for someone who's competent, honestly, so not too... Ooh, that one looks good for his price. That one is good for... Okay, yeah, I think, so interview him. Compatibility is not very good. He's cocky, that's why. Cocky and optimist. I think cocky goes against um, introverted. You there. Also really bad match, and you're too expensive for what you do. Uh, you worth a... Th it's enough that it won't give me issues. There's the thing. So it's so I right, um I found out something else on threats. When it comes to actually doing like um contract work, these on the right don't really matter that much. This matters on the left. So the higher you are here, the more effective you are at designing in contracts. So I'm looking for a high that score, not high this score. So if you look at these two in comparison. They're almost the same, and this one's actually quite good at art, which means that I, that either either of these will be absolutely fine in the role. Let's have one last check of him interview, and you are actually better in it almost every way. How do you match better? Apparently, optimistic is more negative than extrovert for an introvert. Now that's weird. You're better at system design, you're worse at audio design, you've actually got some coding behind you. Um, yeah, yeah, you've got programming skill. So for an extra hundred, you... So to start off with, I'm going to have him on, on any role anyway, because we're only taking one... So here's the important thing. Because we're only taking one job at a time, if I put him as a programmer, he would do nothing during the developing stage, the development stage, and then suddenly spring to life during the alpha stage, which is pointless. He may as well do work. It's when I'm doing multiple things at once, or I have different groups, that that dynamic actually comes into play. The fact I actually put people in different roles so early last time was actually a huge hindrance on myself. So that's something else I have learned just by playing the game. So many things. So... Yeah, if that makes any sense, because if you have two things going at once and the one thing finishes and goes into alpha, and then you're still designing something, you don't want this person taking the role of programmer on the other one. You'd much rather him go back to the new project and start designing. So we want him to do... But, but until then, while we're, while we're only taking one job at a time, definitely want him to be a, a just any role. So we'll hire him. Tony, yep, you are part of the crew. Well done. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And that's going to cost a thousand quid. Hmm. I just saw a problem. We may go bankrupt next month because that's going to cost me a thousand. No, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. This place is so small at the moment; it's not costing us almost anything. How much is it costing us? It's only costing us. Okay, so ignore the massive maintenance bill because that's me building. The actual bill is there, four hundred a month. So I'm losing one thousand four hundred a month if you include his salary. Wow, he costs more than the building per month apparently. Wait until our people get here. Oh, we haven't hired a cleaner. I'll hire a cleaner after this month. Oh, you are a female, Tony. Okay, welcome, Tony. I'm so sorry I called you the wrong gender. So, contract work, pause time, just for now. I always think space is pause time. It's not. So, we only have a one. Uh, let's see. Horrible, recommended team one, recommended team two. And honestly, the price is almost identical. Why don't we just go for the, for the easy one for now? Yeah, okay, let's go for the easy one. 
So, she should be in, in any role, so she will actually help her. Well, right now, she's actually doing what she's meant to do. She's a designer. As you can see, she's actually quite good at it. Because as soon as she went onto the job, it suddenly shot forward. But now, she will also program because she's in any role. If I had a, a designer, she'd be doing nothing right now. So, we should be able to get this out in the first day, since beta tends to be shorter than alpha. Unless we're going to delay forever. Oh, come on, really? We had two people, we still ended with bugs. That kind of sucked, honestly. Okay, next day, forgot to hire a cleaner, so she's not going to be too happy with her. Yep, this place is dirty, which is upsetting her, because this place is... Envi oh, good, yeah, I haven't ad added, added any environment stuff. That's silly. It's so cheap, but it makes such a huge difference on your employees having a nice environment for them. Makes them more effective during the day, which is a big deal. Um, wow, those lamps are really annoying. I do kind of like them there, that's a problem. I can't put this here. Ugh. I think you're just going to have to stick with what you've got. Oh, wait, no, 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 we could do floor plans. There we go, look at that. A lovely green um, view. Beautiful. Okay, contract work. Pause. Although, I am I am almost now, this is my theory, I'm fairly certain, when it has, like, a recommended team size 2, I think it simply means then they, they can both work on it. Because I have been told multiple times in this little section over here that there's too many people working on X, Y, or Z. So I think probably we should be going for the ones which say, you should really have two people, because look how fast we did that then, and this is a two-month goal. And it was almost done in the same speed, at least, at least for designing, because obviously she's not very good at programming, so she's, not, she's only just about worth one right now. In fact, she's probably not even worth one person. So we're definitely going to get this done in time, though, because we're almost done in the first day, and we have three days to do it. Sorry, three months. We're not heading towards bankruptcy, silly goose. There we go, alpha is done. Going to beta, and it's already done straight away at the start of the second day. We still have another two months left. Fantastic. So yeah, I think I should be going for jobs which actually do say recommended team size two. So perhaps we'll go for this one next, and then we'll go... So who, so who do we actually want then? So the next person we'll want in this group is probably another programmer. So that way we have a secondary designer and we have a secondary programmer. Obviously Lathrix is kind of uh, your starter character anyway. I really shouldn't call him Lathrix now. I, I realise this because it, cause I'm always saying my own name. Who managed the staff and they've got a skill section haven't they here? They go leader skill, c code skill, design skill. As you can see he's pretty much basic and everything. He's decent at everything but he's a particularly good leader. Whereas this, this woman here can't really code very well. 10% coding 20% designing, so she's not that good, essentially. So we're going to want someone with a higher coding skill next, so that's what we need next. So we got, we're going to look for a new person. So let's go with um, higher employees. We're going to look for a programmer. It doesn't really matter too much, honestly, because we're not going to be doing our own thing for some time. And let's have a look at scores with cost in mind, and it looks like you might be the winner Mr. Basil, oh, however you are, re remarkably old. Which is mean, but it does mean you'll retire, and I don't want to spend education funds on that. So perhaps we're going to have to educate someone, or we could just look again. Honestly, I think I'm going to have to look again. That was not a very good run there. It it's, it's because I don't have much money in my insurance, which of course is the bank, which gives you... Um, which does give you money, gives you... Oh, what's on for here? Ah, crap. Interest. It look gives you interest. My lord, that took far too long to figure out. Over time, but it also allows you to find better people, or at least more people when you look. Okay, well, you look a little bit better. 4% this time. How are you? Okay. Oh, you're not very compatible, though. Actually, I was going to say, that would be okay. And you've even got a little bit of designing, which is nice. Your coding's good. How about you, then? You're a little bit more expensive. And your compatibility is even less, my lord. But your programs, because you're a pessimistic snob, you're a stubborn person. Well, I'm going to go with you anyway, Benice. Uh, I'll have to train you in the future, but for now we'll just leave you as you are. So we've got a new coder. So we're going to be looking for jobs which want three people after this. Um, so next we're going to want to go to manage staff and hire a cleaner, finally. Okay. Oh, god, I forgot how much time we had left today. Uh, let's do, even though it's only one, is there, is there any two size, there's four size. Let's just go with an, an easy one month one. 
Even though, even if we do have two people. It does seem, though, like we should be going for ones where we actually fit the size of the group. At least how many people are working. I'm fairly certain pro probably the most effective way to do these things is to have, like, a few separate groups. One which are all designers, one which is all, um... Not designers, what's wrong here? Coders, and then one which is all something else or other. Probably with some artists mixed into each. Probably would be the best, the most effective, because then you could have like, maybe three or four going at once. It's just kind of bouncing along the chain of command. Because you can, because I found this out the other day, on managed teams, there is this here, automation, which is a big thing. And you can actually have people managing their own stuff, which is kind of cool, honestly. Also, also HR management, like education, it also makes them um, ask for less money, I've, I've been told, but I don't know if that's actually true. But you need someone who actually can do this stuff, so it's kind of weird. Like that there, yeah, so your group can be trained in programming, secondary is art, etc. So you can kind of start to automate the processes, although I'm not sure how much so. I'm really hoping it's quite, um, I am really hoping it is actually very much automated in the future, because cause, cause sorting out this can be a real pain in the butt. But saying that, things like um, the contracts are a lot faster than the software and such, which is the big thing later on. So our new person should be here today. There we are. go. We've got all our new people. Wow, you're like twins. My lord, okay. Who are you? You are Benice. Hello, Benice. You're a programmer as well, aren't you? Which means you should be doing a good job what you're doing now. Let's finish that off. Okay, so we're going to look for something which I... I think our janitor might be done. He's put... Wow, that's a plotting face. I can see things. You know... I think I may use this as the um, <laughs> as the thumbnail. <laughs> That's kind of amazing, honestly. I must say that is kind of amazing. Okay, so um, contract work. Let's see if we've got any three-man jobs. Recommended size two, four, one, two, 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 six. Okay, going kind of jumping around now. Four, two, what? Why isn't ah? Oh, I didn't even go by months. Didn't help. Got a lot of twos. I really, really like a three. That's fine though. Okay, so let's go with this two-month one. It's bad. It wants two people. It does want a lot of artists, but I simply haven't got artists right now. And like I say, they are my lowest in in priority to actually get into into the into the um company. For now, later on, they're going to be so important for, for like improving the quality of what we do. <laughs> I love that. She does this like, last little bit before she leaves. It's like logging off, but but logging off somehow help, helps our alpha. So we've got two months. Essentially, when it says one month left, it means we've got this month, so today and tomorrow. That janitor is creepy as sin. There we go. Easily done. Our employee is having trouble concentrating. Which one is having trouble concentrating? They're all happy. No, it's not. They're saying that the janitor has impaled you with his um, broom. Wow, it was you. You're really ineffective at the moment. No, it's just because no one's got a job. Okay. Other than me, apparently. I'm just a workaholic. Okay. Is there a three-man job this time? Would be good. Stop adding fours. It goes one, two, four all the time. No, no three-mans? Okay. So... Is it worth getting one more employee then and having them as an artist at this stage? And and having them actually in the role of artist? It would improve our quality a bit. And actually, I am keen to see how it would affect our speed. So we're going to furnish, table, table. Uh, make sure we don't block the door. Oh no, we can't block the door. Cool. Have that there. And you can have a light because you're an artist. Yeah, that makes sense when you're going to be working on the computer. <laughs> I guess you can sketch. I mean, that makes sense, right? Okay, and I would like to hire an employee, and this time we're looking for an artist in 2D, because screw audio art. Who needs music these days? Wow, you are very cheap for your, for your exp 
defense. Why are you so cheap? Compatibility is a bit bad, and your skill set is all over the place. How about you? Ah, oh, we've got a really horrible group at the moment. I mean, we've got so many mixtures of um, personality t trends at the moment. Ah, you see, your score is almost the same, but this, you are so much more concentrated. I find that as well. Being more concentrated is far better because I am almost certain that they ask for more money the higher their skills are overall. Because when you educate them, they get ridiculously expensive. Um, one of my leaders, who I got to maximum lead and I trained them in something else, wanted something like 7000 per month. And I'm fairly certain it's because they had two elements to them. So we want this, because this is better. You are a better artist. And you met... Okay, and you are here, Mr. Clement Gregory. You are hired into our beautiful fold. And once again, we'll just try to get a contract going for the rest of the day, otherwise we're going to have a wasted day. However, the shortest is... Oh, no, it's not. Okay, never mind. I was going to say the shortest one month. Perhaps if we had... You know, I've got a theory. How about if we have two one-month ones? Because that way, our people can... S can yeah, if they can work on different things, look how much faster that's going. Probably the same speed as if we had one. So essentially, you want every person to be working on... So you want the maximum amount of people to be working on everything. So if it says it wants two people, have two people. Don't have three, don't have four, because it's wasted work. And that is what I'm learning. That is one big thing I have learned. Because look at that, that was so much... No bugs to fix. Two one months done in one month. Fantastic. And you get to go. So, let's do our skill and manage employees. And one of you is an artist. Let's see if I can remember by name. Be good if we could actually see your name then. So, Clement Gregory, you are the artist, aren't you? Yes. So, art skill is 27%. I want you to only do art. I don't want you to end up screwing things up. Now, the reason why I have this is because I'm fairly certain the artist might try to program or something during times where she could do art. The other two can't design when there's only alpha to do, so it's not like they're going to do the wrong thing, but she could end up doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. I'm also curious to see when she actually works. So this is going to be a bit of an experiment. We're probably not going to do a particularly hard contract right now, so let's wait until they get here. Actually, no, we couldn't start it now. So let's not go for a hard contract. Let's go for about... I was going to say a two-month, but that's fine if we can't find that. Where's a four-man one? Didn't we have a four-man one which is waiting? There we go. A multi-store website that needs some artists. Okay, that's actually remarkably little cost for how many people they want working on it. Wow, we're designing that quickly. Who are you? Okay, so you are Benice. Okay, pause. Someone's sleeping. Okay, so the artist is not working during the design phase, which is really odd if you ask me. In the alpha phase, he kicks in. Then he's vanished. He's drinking coffee. Now we're, in, now, we're, now we're in the delay stage, which is nothing, so we have to wait for that to finish, and she's working somewhat, he's not working in beta. So the artist worked, oh, he worked for a second there. So the artist only worked in alpha. Also, we did that so fast, because it was recommended for four people. I am almost certain, and I may be wrong, that if you do go over it, not only are you being inefficient, I think there's an, an actual punishment for having too many people on one job. I am not, I, I'm not I'm not going to say it for certain, like that is definitely the case, but I am somewhat convinced. Oh yeah, extending things is so weird, because I'm going to have to... So if I wanted to extend this office to here, I would have to first merge everything. Yeah, I'd have to mer so I'd have to essentially merge. Oh, it's so weird to try and merge things. How do you merge that? How do you merge this thing? I have to say the merge system is a really weird tool, and honestly, a lot of the time I don't think it works. Yeah, I'd have to demerge that and merge those two together, and then oh, it'd be so confusing to do. So most likely I'm just gonna have a separate building here at some point. So this is probably gonna stay as it is a, a, as a three-man group. Then I'll probably have other groups later on. So let's do one more contract then. Let's try and see if we can find another. I would like. I would love if maybe you could um, file this by size of groups. See, this why. This why. It's, it's actually why I really, I really like this game. There's so many elements which are not exactly um, straightforward, and you have to actually think about and try and figure out for yourself. And that's 
Something I do enjoy, even if it's difficult. Okay, so now, this one's a four-man and requires more artists. Still, the artist does nothing during the first stage. That's interesting. They, there's so much noise in this room, is there? 14 decibels isn't bad. Hmm, it shouldn't be. I've never seen someone complain about that, that level before, and only he seems to be complaining. How about, how, about, how about everyone else? What do you all think? There's too much noise in this room. This place is dirty. Again, you're really ineffective. Okay, we need a leader. I might, sw I might even swap him to leader at this stage, because these people are not working very effectively at all. You are. You're being... And then you go down again. You keep saying there's too much noise. Oh, got a 71 decibels. Yes, it's far too much noise in this room. How can I reduce that then? Oh, there's too many people in the room. It's because I've added extra person. That's going to screw up my experimentation. I might build another room quickly and just put a desk in there. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we're going to have to increase the size here, so... Do that, then we'll put this wall like this, so... How does that not... Okay, so we merge these two... So, so now it's now a toilet kitchen. Then we merge this. Then we merge the entire thing. Then we unmerge it. You can't do that? What? Okay, that is one complaint I really do have about this game, honestly. The building is really, really awkward. It's not a good building system at all. It makes this whole process a lot more difficult, because it's fairly obvious what I want. I want this to be an L-shaped room. But I simply can't have that in this game, and it's really not good, and it, I can't figure out a way to do it. And if there is a way to do it, it's so convoluted, it's quite difficult to do. And that's a real shame, because honestly, it's not a complaint that it's so huge, it's ruining the game for me. It really isn't, because honestly, I still think this game is absolutely freaking fantastic. But, it is a complaint. So let's, uh, can we just move these things, perhaps, instead of deleting them? That would be better if we could do that. There we go. I'll move you as well, facing that way. I'll move you in here. And we'll put that light source in there. Now, again, the temperature now is a bit too hot and cold because we've just uh, added it with extra space. So essentially, the reason why I've done this is because larger spaces require more sound to become noisy, as you might imagine. So this way as well, we can have these things on the back wall a little bit further away from them. And the decibel should go down, hopefully. If it doesn't, then I've been I was wrong about that, and that's just something else I've had I've had to learn. Didn't mean to put the window there, but actually I quite like that. <laughs> Having the window into the break room. Would you like a snack? Okay, so let's unpause the game. And hopefully Yay, the decibels have gone down to twenty-three. Are you happy now? Yes, and you're working so much faster than you were. Even though you're still complaining, even you've gone up in speed, so that's fantastic. So you have three months to go still, you have to remember. And like I said before, I do find designing to be the slowest one. Although we might be able to make it. If we can make this in the first month, then we're definitely going to make it. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, so close. Close enough. Okay, next up. 7,000! Oh, wait, no, minus 7,000. That's including my building. So actually, it's 800, so, it's actually, so we're actually losing 4,000 a month. So essentially we need to gain 4,000 a month or more to keep afloat, which is fine. We're going to get 13k from this, and that's over three months. Okay, Alpha and that artist is actually arting, which is really good. Still not very effective. Why are you so ineffective? That's great, but why are you so ineffective? Okay, this is why you need a leader, because leaders affect that. And we are struggling because you are at half capacity, you are at 80%, and you are at 78%, meaning I've not lost a person. So we need a leader. It's still not worth putting this guy, um, the founder... See, so that's what I'll call him for now, not Lafrex, the founder, on lead. Because if I did that... 
then he wouldn't be working on the actual job itself. He would just be leading these people. And he adds way more than any of these do. So I think the next person we need, even if they're not very good at leading, is simply a leader. We just need it at this stage because that's ridiculously bad. But I don't really want to hire another person. But that would kind of round out the group though. Because then we'd have an artist, a designer, a programmer, an all-rounder, and a leader. All we need then is a marketer, and that doesn't come into play f until later, and honestly you want a different division for that. Okay, let's just try and focus on getting this done. Okay, so you request a $600 raise for doing what? Let's try and keep it green. Uh. So, okay. I want to test something here. I'm going to test something. I can't say it right now, it really sucks. But I want to test something. What the test is, this is definitely giving her more money. I'm just not raising her by 50, over 50%. I can't do that every year. I'd end up spending thousands upon thousands on everyone. And honestly, I'll just end up rehiring people. And if you are really that inefficient, because I haven't trained you yet, I may just get a new person. I may just fire her. So there you go, I'll give you a 30% a rise, which is still ridiculously huge. And I bet you anything she comes in really upset now, at a really low percentage. Was it, um, Tony, was it? Has gone on vacation, so she wanted a rise before going on vacation. Hmm. Come on, let's finish Alpha. Oh man, I did not know we needed to lead her this much. Like... That is going down so fast. I mean, it goes down anyway during the day, but that is just... I don't know why this group is so bad with this. Is it just perhaps there... There is actually a thing which is... I think it's called Diligence. It ma there you go, Diligence. Now, Diligence is a few things, and it's like um, how fast they will... How fast they will deteriorate when it comes to their percentage, their effectiveness, how many sick days they'll take, etc, etc. And the lower it is, the worse it is. So this person, Tony, is terrible. And there's a good chance that that might be because I, well, she, well she's going to say my salary was cut even though it wasn't. Where is Tony? No, no, she's just unhappy. Which means she's going to be really ineffective, all because I didn't cut her salary, I just didn't give her the huge increase in price she wanted. There you go, we're in beta, this is the last month, thankfully beta's going remarkably quickly. Okay, so we actually managed to gain money out, out of all of that, that catastrophe of a, um, of a contract, we have actually gained money, okay. So you are so ineffective right now. Um... So we're going to look for a leader then. I'll do this though next time. So thank you for watching Soren Threats. If you have enjoyed this episode, I'm going to be recording another one straight away. But if you have enjoyed the episode, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel. And of course, most importantly, shows that Software Inc. is a series you want to see continued. So thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Do take care. Goodbye.